It's uh, Wednesday, May 9th. I just want to give a quick update on the system and uh, where everything's at right now. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I uh, changed the pump out. I have a Evolution ES3500 pump that replaced the 950 gallon pump I had, and I had to replumb everything. So, kind of what that looks like. I've got the AD120 blower in here as well. I'm going to extend that into the greenhouse. Uh, it seems to be running pretty good. Uh, I have it throttled back quite a bit on the inside, so it's uh, the leaf trap isn't you know completely full of water. Uh, when I get the second system hooked in and have the wraps for the second system put in, uh, I'll have a uh, better flow out of this. So I probably got to throttle back to about a thousand gallons per hour right now. the two filters, uh, clean those out uh, twice a week, and uh, seems to work pretty well. So uh, Lettuce is going nuts. I have romaine here and some bib lettuce. Um, I haven't even had to really spray it yet for any kind of bugs. I've got a few, you know, butterflies have gotten on it and laid some eggs, but uh, it looks pretty good, actually. Let's take a look at the roots underneath. If I can get this up. Well, yeah. Some good root, root growth on that. So, those are doing pretty well, actually. I've got some more. Back in here. Oh, there we go. It's a little tight, so anyway. I've also got squash and cucumbers in here. Uh, they, they're doing fairly well. They're not, you know, growing like gangbusters, but they're growing. Uh, they've got some pretty good root systems. They're, they are flowering. Uh, there's cucumbers and squash both in this in this setup. I've also got some basil out here. Uh, I just put some 6 to 18 inch air stones in these. So, makes them really nice. A lot more oxygen. Let's lift these up and see what they look like. Yeah, got some pretty good root growth there. And there as well. inch stone that I have in there. I've got them separated 6 inch, 12 inch, and 18 inch throughout the rafts. Provides lots of oxygen. So, let's head on into the greenhouse and see what we've done here. Bell peppers growing now. These these bell pepper plant, bell pepper plants are actually about um, eight months old now. I put these in last September. Swiss chard. We just uh, cut the <laughs> several bowlfuls of Swiss chard and kale yesterday. I actually cut two more kale plants out. Uh, you can see the growth on this one up here. It's just phenomenal. It's up to the roof. Real bushy. And we do eat this. It's it's really good, real nutritious. Um, rosemary, mint, chocolate mint, just going crazy in here. I did have some caterpillar problems, and I still have a few in here I haven't fished out. You know, I've done some leaf damage. I've sprayed, but uh, with Botanigard, didn't catch them young enough, so they're still uh, munching away. Uh, they really devastated my some of my mints, the regular mint, the spearmint, and the apple mint. So I pulled up a determinant 
tomato plant that was just about done in here. It had about five or six tomatoes on it. Uh, they started to turn, so I cut those off, pulled the plant up, and I planted some uh, black crim tomato plants and some cherry tomato plants that I raised from seeds. So we're going to see how those do in this system as well. Uh, this bell pepper plant looks pretty uh, uh, pretty rough, but uh, believe it or not, it has a has bell peppers on it. So also got this big squash. Or, uh, I believe it's a squash plant over here that came up. It's two to three times as big as the ones outside, and they were all planted at the same time. Uh, there's my basil, sweet basil. I've actually pinched that back several times and it just came out and started uh, growing like crazy. Uh, we've added a few things like sage and um, I've got some, there's the sage. Kind of hard to see with the leaf in the way. Regular sage, I've got Thai basil over here that we've added. And then we have the monster early bird tomato plant. This thing is just massive now. Oh, I've also added some asparagus. Uh, my parents gave me a cutting of this. Uh, we've already gotten three. I just planted this about a week ago. I've got one, two, there's another one coming up here, three asparagus stalks already. And it's kind of flowered out on the top. That's how we got it. Uh, Clean the dirt off the roots, plant it in here. It loves it. So uh, these are the modifications I made to the tanks. I've got some aeration ports on here that I can control. Uh, help aerate the tank a little better. Uh, I'm still trying to tweak the system so it doesn't overflow. I seem to have that problem every once in a while. Tilapia are feeding, feeding like crazy. They're now coming to the top and they just churn the water. Uh, even the small ones in this tank do that as well. They're kind of hard to see in here. There's one right there. I'll let this calm down. You can see these guys in here. They've grown quite a bit. These are all the mediums. The largest. And I can't really see these guys. They're there, but they're yeah, kind of skittish. They're probably well over a pound, most of them now. So there's about 12 of those in here. rosemary that I got that was rooted so I planted that in here as well. We've also added some uh, hot spicy oregano, some lemon thyme, chives. Uh, this is a German thyme here that we've added. Um, it's not doing too 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 well but you know, we'll see. We've also raised some other basil, sweet basil here. And I've actually got some Genovese basil outside. Um, now these are my nursery beds. I've actually got this. This is a um, washing machine tray. And I have a hose run to it. I don't know if you can see this here. Water coming out with a little valve on it. And it drains down into this tray. And in turn, these are the drain tubes. I have one in each. And those come over and drain into, I don't know if you can see this or not. There we go. Comes out of the bottom, runs over to the tank, and drains into the tank. So it's constant flood. I have two air stones, one in each, to aerate it. So. Now I've tried these yogurt cups and they do work, 
but they're kind of messy and when I try to transfer those to these bigger larger cups uh, sometimes I have problems and, and I end up damaging the plants so uh, this go around I actually planted the seeds within the these cups and I'm going to do the same thing and just place them up in, in this tray to get them started and I'm not going to use the yogurt cups anymore too hard to work with uh, some of my um, cauliflower and and uh, broccoli came up but it's you know, it's having issues so I've been putting iron chelated iron in the system about uh, once a week now and uh, it seems to help but uh, anyway I've got Swiss chard in here multiple varieties uh, I've got bib lettuce several types of basil other tomato plants, um, just a plethora of plants in here. Some of my apple mint in the center there, and of course the Swiss chard. And this is kale as well, and it's quite large. It would probably reach the ceiling too if it wasn't, uh, you know, curved. Turn that that way. So yeah, if it was growing straight up, it would have already hit the ceiling. Those are some uh, pretty big leaves. You know, we cut off of this and eat this as well. So, the only problem I've had is caterpillars and you can probably see this. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. But I have a white fly problem. And I spray these guys about every three days, and it knocks them down for a little bit, and they come right back. <clears throat> they haven't done much damage to the plants. Uh, make them kind of sticky from all the sap. But they haven't really killed any of the plants. So I just try to keep them at bay. But anyway, oh, and I did add a second solar-powered uh, attic fan in here as well today. This is a Honeywell, 12 watt, a little bit smaller motor than the other one. You can see that. Uh, it's temperature controlled as well, so I'm going to hook that into my switch. Place the same kind of vents on the outside. It took me about 20-30 eh, minutes to put it in. Put the uh, solar panel up on the roof. So. There's the solar panels up on the roof. For the attic fans. And that's about it for now. As soon as I get more plants, I'm going to load up the rafts and uh, see where this thing goes.